Hello, welcome to Rider Cycle Centre Bicycle Workshop. Um, quick thing about bottom brackets. Um, at Rider Cycle Centre, I always like to try and find solutions to some of the more common uh, mechanical issues we have with both road and mountain bikes. And one of them is creaky bottom brackets. Um, press bit bottom brackets, uh, a lot of you, I ride myself, I suffer from creaky bottom brackets. There's a lot of reasons why they creak, which we can go into maybe another day. But uh, the main reason is the bearing moving in the frame. Um, now, bearings are either press fitted in, screwed in, or the bearing is housed in a plastic or metal tube, which is then press fitted into the frame. But things like BB30 and this particular Trek, which has uh, a naked bearing that is just pressed into the carbon frame. Now, with your pedaling action, uh, the torque uh, when you're climbing, when you're under load, when you're putting a lot of sideways pressure on the frame and on the bearing, that bearing can move and it can creak. So, securing that bearing in the frame a little bit better stronger than just pressing it in is going to help hopefully with with that minimize the movement so um, what we do is we actually clean the the surfaces up and we press fit the bearing and we apply a little bit of bearing uh, retaining fluid a, a medium strength bearing retaining compound which hopefully given that a uh, little time to cure is going to hold that bearing uh, a little bit better in place and we've been doing that for a couple of years now with some, with some clients' bikes, and we've definitely seen an improvement. Um, the bearings are still wearing out, of course, through usage, but the uh, the client is not suffering so much creaking. And uh, we've done enough BB30s and other frames that have this kind of setup, and the system is definitely working. I'm just going to show you what we have, what we do. So uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so it's really important to make sure that everything is as clean as you can possibly get it. So uh, I'm using some isopropyl alcohol and a nice clean tissue. Uh, we just make sure the whole area is clear of any grease and oils. Make sure we clean the outside of the bearing, like so. Now, um, these are the products that we're using. Uh, the, we have a activator and we have a medium strength bearing compound, okay? Now, with carbon frames, we do spray this area with the activator and then apply the bearing with some of the compound. If we're doing an aluminium frame, you don't require the activator. Okay, and now we're just gonna get our bearing press and get ready to press this in. On this particular job, we're only doing the non-drive side. The drive side bearing is absolutely fine. So I already have a bearing in place on the drive side. So we get everything prepared. Okay, so. Just before we press it in, we're going to apply our bearing compound. The capillary action will uh, allow the bearing compound to go around the bearing. And then, you can hear that creaking? That's the uh, bearing rubbing on the carbon. Right, that's now stiffened up. There we go, and back it off. Obviously using a proper bearing press like this ensures that the bearing goes in flush. Uh, knocking in bearings with socket sets can often result in the bearing going in crooked which can cause damage and also shorten the life of the bearing considerably. Wipe away any excess. Okay, and that's what we do. Uh, as I say, that's just a naked bearing, okay, which is pressed into uh, an, either an aluminium or a carbon shell on the bottom bracket. Uh, such as certain uh, makes still use BB30 bottom bracket bearings when that is one of them. The bearing is just a naked bearing, it does, it's not housed in any kind of shell. And that just is pressed into the frame up against the circlip, the crank is put through, everything's done up. And that poor bearing can suffer a lot of flex. So just giving that bearing something to keep it stuck in place uh, can help minimise the creak. Uh, a lot of bearings are housed in, alum, uh, in shells like this one. This one is a, is a Hope one. The bearings are housed in the aluminium. Uh, the aluminium is then press fitted in, but also there's an inner sleeve that's, that bridges the gap between one shell and the other and screws it in nice and tight. So also that shell has a lot more stability, which is going to help the bearing. It's going to prolong the, the wear and tear of the bearing as well. Again, just to help eliminate any kind of sideways flex. And other bearings just have plastic shells. This is a Shuram one. Uh, the bearings are housed in a plastic uh, casing and that's also 
put into the frame and also systems like this I still when I press this in I do apply a little bit of bearing compound around there just to hopefully keep that nice and still in the frame it's a medium strength so it's not super strong it's we're still able to remove the bottom bracket when it eventually wears but uh, I say it's one of the things we've been doing here at Rider Cycle Center for a few now, years now and it's been working very well for a lot of our clients so if you do suffer from a creaky bottom bracket or you don't get you know a great life spanning bottom bracket why don't you pop in have a chat uh, it's really good to talk to people about bearings as well uh, throwaway bearings more expensive bearings the do's and don'ts of bearings and whether you know these high-end ceramic bearings are actually worth the price um, a lot of great videos online I can I can show you as well but um, yeah I hope you found that useful uh, Rider Cycle Centre we're a bespoke cycle workshop in Skipton thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day bye bye